Hello friends, welcome to Tamil Tutor channel. In this video, I am going to answer a query I have received. So the query is find the calculation for last five week five week ending Saturday's date from parameter date, excluding the current week Saturdays. Okay, so the query is we need to show the data for last five weeks that dates falling on Saturdays. Okay, and user going to select a date from parameter. Let me drag order date to the rows and choose exact date. Right click and convert it to discrete. And then drag order date again to see the weekday. To see the weekday, right click, go to more and choose custom. From here, select weekdays and then click OK. Now you can see the weekday of each order date so if you double click you can see the calculation behind this ctrl c to copy and paste so actually this calculation returns 1 to 7 if it falls on sunday this calculation returns 1 and if it is saturday it returns 7 so let me show you the output click ok Let me add one aggregation function because there can be many records falling under one date. Click OK. Right click choose discrete. Okay, so as I said, if it is on Sunday, it returns one. If it is Saturday, uh, where is Saturday? Yes, if it is Saturday, it returns 7. Okay. Now, uh, let me write a calculation to get our requirement. So, let's say filter data. First, I am going to write the condition that filters to give us the last 5 weeks of information excluding the current week. As you know, date diff function returns difference between two dates uh, two dates based on the date part so if i provide date part as week you will get the number of weeks difference between the order date and uh, sorry before that i need to create a parameter that user can select so for now let me click ok uh, right click and choose create parameter name the parameter as uh, choose date and data type is date the current value is current date and i'm going to allow all values so user can select any date value click ok right click show parameter control okay. so let me go back to the calculation and edit so order date comma choose day so if this one difference is less than or equal to 5 we will get the recent five weeks so as i said there can be a number of records uh, falling under one date i'm going to add one aggregation function min then click ok let me see the output of this calculation so the current date is July 13, 2021. So, yes, it's returning true for the last five weeks. And also, if you have, in your data, if you have data available for the future dates, you need to add another condition. And it should be greater than. Greater than or equal to one. So why I have provided one is uh, I'm going to the requirement is to exclude the current week. So if it is zero, then it takes the current week. To exclude the current week, I'm providing greater than or equal to one. Click apply. Now if I drag this calculation to the filter self and select only true. 
you get the data uh, from 6 6 2021 to 7 9 2021 excluding the current week okay and now we are going to add another condition and date part weekday comma order date if this date is equal to 7 so if it's equal to 7 that means the order date is falling on saturday you need to add aggregation function because you cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregate functions in the calculation so as you can see uh, this selected period of last five weeks we don't have any saturday order date so you don't get any output let me click apply and show you so we don't get any output because there are no saturdays falling in this period so let me choose another date which gives you the uh, where data is available on saturday see now the entire data is filtered and giving the output of um, dates that are falling only on saturday and we are getting only the last five days last five order five weeks saturdays excluding the current week saturday current week you can choose any other date and test yeah uh, we, don't, we are seeing only four records here because uh, in the in that period of calculation there is no order date falling on Saturday so we are seeing only the four uh, four records four order dates here okay uh, that's it I hope uh, this calculation is helpful to you if you find this video helpful please do subscribe and hit the like button thank you for watching.